level here. <laughs> Josh Pretzer level here. <clears throat> your your plant harvests the energy from the sun, mm-hmm. and it takes in CO2 from the air, and it takes in water, you know, most likely, hopefully, from the root system, yeah. and it mixes these things into whatever they need to be. Uh, if you took the weight of an actual plant and then ashed it, you know, burnt it, and then looked at the different minerals, even nitrogen is only in that plant in very, very small amounts. The vast majority of that plant is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So wow. this all happens through literally, literally a miracle of life, and it's photosynthesis, and this happens in the chloroplast inside the cell. The chloroplast, it's a fatty membrane. Um, take it down to Josh level. This morning, we had toast, okay. uh, you know, over there at the IHOP, mm-hmm. and when we put that butter on the hot bread coming out of the out of the kitchen mm-hmm. it melted sure now when they i wasn't in the kitchen at the ihop they don't let me back there but when they took that out of the fridge fridge this morning to serve us what was it hard you know, it, butter. it was very hard butter if i tried to spread that on my bread it would have ripped my bread apart right now once my bread was hot and toasted When I took that butter and spread it on my bread, it just melted and went away. So that's why they tell you to melt butter when you're baking cookies. Yeah, exactly. And not throw the stick in there. Get it in there. We're ready to go. (laughs) That's right. So the same thing is happening in the chloroplast of the cell. The chlorophyll contains the chloroplast. The chloroplast harvests the solar energy and turn it into plant. It turns it into yield. It turns it into sugar. It turns it into everything that plant needs. So when the plant's under stress, for all extensive purposes here, that butter is not the right consistency. And we've all been in the sun. We have all know what the sun can do with us. You know, some of us are sunburned right now from planting, and it, we turn red. So under optimum conditions, that molecule I'm talking about, it's harvesting the energy and it's putting it down these transport chains. It's taking it away and it's not causing that sunburn. Sure. Now, if that organelle, that that butter is a little too hard or a little too soft because of some environmental factor or farmer-induced factor like herbicide, now it's not efficiently harvesting all that extra energy. So it, energy bounces off in the form of, of light energy, electrons and photons, and it hits what are plants made of. If the, there's wet weights and dry weights, yeah. plants are predominant about 90% water in mm. cells. Even in a dry year, plants have very high levels of water. Sure. And well, you take a, you take a uh, <clears throat> pre-weed plant, you cut it off in a drought, and you just throw it, you just lay it on the ground. You come back two days later, it is a fraction of what it once was absolutely the plant material didn't leave the moisture just left absolutely and you have this little stain little just shriveled thing when before it was this big looming bush absolutely yeah so even in a bad year the plants are full of water well when these chlorophyll molecules aren't functioning efficiently that extra energy is hitting the water and it's binding oxygens onto the water and it's creating H2O2. Mm. That's hydrogen peroxide. And we know hydrogen peroxide very well. And yes. you have it in a brown bottle at the pharmacy. And now I see the fancy ones with the sprayers on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you put this on your cut, your wound, and it bubbles. It foams up. The same exact thing happens inside a cell that's under stress. So now this extra energy is going into the water inside the cell and causing bubbling. The plant feels the bubbling and it starts to take its carbon that used to be in the grain or used to be in the pod or used to be in the leaf and it turns it into stress ethylene. Hmm. Ethylene is just carbon gas and this ethylene now floats out my stomates and it goes to my neighboring plant and tells the plant Wow, we're under stress. It's time to ripen. It's trying to die. It's time to set seed. Why do you never have to plant your pigweed? 
It's there, right? It's in the soil seed bank. Yeah. That's, it's not like you and I, you know, how do we preserve ourselves? You know, we run away, we save our own sure, lives. Sure, sure. For a plant to preserve itself, it just flowers, it makes seeds, and it dies. And right. it puts it in the ground, and that pigweed is going to be there forever. Yeah. So your corn, your bean, it's doing the same thing. When it senses that ethylene, the ripening hormone, it tells hurry it up. to hurry up, set seed, and die. It's not about yield. Sure. It's about having a viable seed. That's why on dry years, stressful years, harvest is always sooner. Absolutely. The plant just shut down faster. That's the stress we ethylene. To, yeah, we have to produce children. We're not going to produce as many, but here's what we can finish off, so away we go. That's that's how it survives forever. That's why you have that's a weed Dr. seed Rob bank. and Josh level. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Die faster. <laughs> yeah, it just makes it die faster. Yeah. And that signal is literally coming from the starch that's stored in your grain. Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major pla podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.